You guys, homemade pizza. It's about to go in the oven. So the dough is just made out of some flour, olive oil, salt, pepper, um, I believe some garlic powder, and water and yeast. Okay. I just divvied it up. I made two portions, so one portion for us now, and we can have some later if we want to. Um, I bought this pizza stone recently. It just gives it a crispier crust. An actual pizza stone. We're legit. We got a pizza stone. Wow. And then using some roasted garlic classico, some mozzarella cheese. Uh, we're going in with some crushed red peppers on top. There's jalapenos and sausage, right? Yep. Oh, you guys, look at that. So she just has to put it in the oven. She did this. I didn't even, I didn't even touch it. I'd probably mess it up. I don't have a clip of the pizza being done, but Feline made homemade pizza. It was the best pizza I have had hands down. Hands down. Like, you guys know... I've gone through phases in my life where I did not like pizza. It wasn't really my jam, but as I've gotten older, because taste buds change, people's tastes change, people change in general, I started to like pizza a little bit more. But this, I think it needs a, its whole, like, a different genre of food. Like, it is so good. It's above pizza. It's like gourmet pizza. Thank you, baby. Stop gassing me up. I'm not gassing you up. I'm, I'm saying the truth. You're gassing me up. But I have an Amazon haul for you guys. I have another box over there. And then I have a few things I've actually already opened. So someone recommended for me to get this because I like the bullet journal. This is the bullet journal method. It's track the past, order the present, design the future by writer Carol. This is the creator of the bullet journal. So people have recommended this to me and I've really been enjoying reading lately. And I'm obsessed with my bullet journal. So that is perfect. Then I actually already opened this. Um, I got this the other day. It is a game called Rummy Cube. I love this game. I used to play it a lot um, in the past. And me and Feline have kind of been playing games lately. And we usually don't. So it's been really fun. And I was like, I know a game I think you're really going to like. So got Rummy Cube. And she loves it. I also taught her how to play phase 10. She also really likes this, but she prefers Rummy Cube, but either way, we're gonna be playing both of those today. Right, baby? Yes, baby. <laughs> so the next thing is super heavy. Ever since I hurt my ankle, um, to put my ankle straight, it hurts. Um, it's not fun, it's not fresh. I'm sure you guys know, I tore several ligaments. In my ankle uh, it was like August it was horrible time horrible time but I've had people ask like is she healing how's she doing she is healing she's pretty much healed like I don't have to like I waddle because of my weight and I have like lipedema and I have lymphedema obviously so like my my gait isn't the greatest but it was like really bad um, when my ankle was allowing me to walk again because I literally wasn't able to walk So once I was able to walk again, I was like, oh my god, my waddle is Worse than ever because I couldn't move my ankle in a certain way. You wouldn't believe how much you actually use Your ankle so now that I'm able to like walk my normal way of walking um, we're fine like my ankle is healing but there are times where I do get like a little pain and that is when I step on my scale. So I got a new scale. The scale that I have now, I've had for years. It is super reliable, but it's super small. The width of it is not good, especially for someone with like really big thighs like me. I have really big calves. So I'm having to like squish my legs together while also straightening my ankle in a way that really, really hurts. So my foot isn't hanging off the scale, obviously. There is a wide width um, scale that a lot of people have that are my size, but last time I bought that, which was last year, I mean, this was like August, maybe even before, actually it was before I hurt my ankle, so it's been like seven months. Um, the scale was so unreliable, it was making me 20 pounds lighter than I really was, 
So I said, okay, that scale's broken. Sometimes that happens, which is unfortunate. So I did more research and I found another wide width scale. I'm hoping it's wide enough to where my ankle does not hurt because I need a scale that does not hurt my ankle. We're not trying to do moving situations that make my ankle hurt. That's not the, that's not the thing. So I did get another scale off of Amazon. This one was not that expensive, which shocked me, but it had over 15,000 reviews and they were like all positive <laughs> from what I saw. Um, this was rated almost five stars. So it's the Eat Smart scale. I have no idea. I'm really nervous. I hate getting new scales. Super high, 550 pound capacity. So I'm gonna hurt myself today. I don't wanna know my weight today because I'm just like, I know that it's probably not that great, but I'm gonna have to weigh myself on my scale that I have now and then weigh myself on this one and see if it's accurate. Um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed again. It was good reviews, so I am really happy about that. Um, I will open her up and show her later. So the last little bit of stuff, I do not buy myself things like I used to. Like I used to be really bad about spending money and like buying stuff and I'm just like, I'm not really like that anymore. Like it's the end of January and this is the first bit of stuff that I've bought myself where I used to literally, oh my God, we need to talk about my shopping addiction, I think. Um, well, the shopping addiction that I used to have because I, I do not have it anymore at all. Um, if I see something I want, I usually wait to get it. Um, back in the day, I would... Oh God, this is so embarrassing. Like a couple few years ago, um, not since I've been with Feline. I have not done this since I've been with her at all um, because I'm more responsible now. Not because of her. She's made me see things differently, but I'm, I'm just growing older. You know, in my 20s, making large portions of money coming from the childhood that I had where I had nothing. I wore like one pair of pants to school. <laughs> That's all I had. Um, coming from like literally nothing. I did not know how to react to that much money and it got so bad where I would go to the bank and I would at one time take out $10,000 and be like to my partner I'd be like all right let's go on a shopping spree and we would just shop till we dropped and that's disgusting and I will never be like that again unless I'm like a millionaire and it's like a special moment like oh shopping spree but no <laughs> I will never be that person again. So my spending habits have gotten so much better because like you guys saw a lot of spending for Vlogmas. That was specifically for Vlogmas. That was budgeted, that was planned, that was the point. You gotta spend money to make money. When you're a YouTuber, especially like a vlogger, you do have to spend money to make money. When I spend money, I make that money back. I don't know, it's confusing, it's hard to explain, but what I'm trying to say is, I got myself a few earrings and I haven't gotten myself earrings in a, it feels like a hot minute, I don't know. So this all came as a set together. Um, they just all came together. It's not like I bought these separately. I really love like puffball earrings, but I have a cat. I have two cats, <laughs> but Rarity, she likes to take my puffball earrings and make them a toy. And she has done this in the last few years with all my puff earrings, so now I don't really have any. And once she takes one, I make it a toy. I take off this part, obviously, and then she just has this like soft little puff ball thing. So she has taken all my earrings. So this is what they look like. I honestly love these type of earrings. I think they're so adorable. So I'm not gonna unpackage all of them right now, but we have gray, we have a maroon, we have white, we have a cream color and we have pink and I'm so freaking excited for it. Oh my God. And then I got these earrings. Um, these earrings are so cheap on Amazon. So I am guilt free because something that's like $5 that I can have forever, girl. So these did come together. This is just a heart, it's glittery and it says Barbie. I did not get these earrings for those. I got them for these because I want to wear these on Valentine's Day. I think they're so freaking cute. 
Let me take them out of the package. Oh my God, it's a little heart. Um, you know those like candies that like say like be mine or whatever? It says be mine, you're cute and I love you. Like look how adorable. I am obsessed. So I am wearing those on um, Valentine's Day. And then I got these earrings because I like to wear my hair in a side braid that used to be my go-to look that was like just what I did constantly. Um, and then, you know, depression struck and I started, you know, the poop bun. But we're slowly getting back into like brushing my hair more and like doing my hair more. So I got these. It's like a little side braid, which is exactly how I like to wear my hair when I'm like doing my hair or whatever. And then I got two necklaces. They come packaged like this. Um, they do come with a bracelet. I don't wear bracelets and I know the fat phobia, the fat shaming people out there is like, it's because they don't fit you. No, it's because I don't like bracelets. They just do not look good on me, but bracelets do fit. <laughs> so this is what the bracelet looks like. This is what the earrings look like. I probably won't wear the earrings or the bracelet. I mainly just got it for the necklace. I don't know. I don't know, folks. I'm really into like black and white. I have a cardigan that looks just like this. So love that. And I got another one, which also again comes with a bracelet and earrings, which I will not be wearing. This one, I, I was like, I don't know. Am I so sure about this? So these are the earrings. It's colorful. It's pastel and it has these little like fake diamonds on there. Um, it's not that cute. The bracelet, that gets cuter. But then the necklace, it's like, oh my God, wait, that's so cute. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little much, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like if I have my hair done in the right way, I'm wearing the right outfit, my makeup's in the right way, I feel like this could be something. So I kind of splurged and got myself something, okay? Don't come for me, but um, yeah, I'm actually about to go make a poke bowl. Um, I need to go season my salmon and put her in the oven. I'm obsessed with poke bowls and so is Feline. We're just like the poke bowl uh, king and queens of the world. So I'm gonna go. I think that's it. Yes, that's it. That was a long clip, wow. Hey guys, so Okay, I was gonna start this as like a separate video, but I didn't think that this one would be long enough for you guys and I do wanna make my vlogs a little bit longer. So we're just carrying on. Um, it's been a few days since I last talked to you. The last thing I remember talking to you guys about was the new scale that I got, which is accurate. I will say it did make me like almost two pounds heavier than my other scale, but I'm okay with that. Two pounds at the whole grand scheme of things is totally fine. And another thing that's really heavy on my mind is like, I opened up a lot in my weight loss video and I was scared. It's just, I have felt so physically and mentally and emotionally like this heaviness from just like, the thoughts I've been having about addiction and like my brother and stuff and something I have learned um, from my brother and from my mom is that yeah their story is their story but they've equally beat into my head that it's also my story and I love the awareness because you know addiction not only is a struggle for the person going through it, but everyone around them that they love. And it's just made me think um, a lot more lately of like my addiction with food. And I don't know, I just really feel like I need to like share those things. So anyways, I'm actually getting ready because doo -doo -doo, I have my appointment today for the weight loss surgeon situation. I don't think I actually see the surgeon today. Um, I am gonna do like a whole separate video. Um, I'm trying to decide if I wanna 
have it be like part of a vlog or if I want it to be like a weigh-in me just talking more about like the appointment and how it went and like etc etc right now I'm in the middle of doing my makeup and I was gonna wear eyeshadow today but I've already decided against it so now my next question is like what type of color lipstick am I aiming for more of like a nude moment or like a pink moment so I haven't decided but I know for just the rest of my makeup I'm just gonna do like a little mini winged eyeliner some mascara because I don't know what this appointment's gonna entail nine times out of ten when I talk about my weight with like health professionals I cry <laughs> I don't know what it is it's like a weird thing so um I don't want to like do anything crazy with my makeup because I will be crying and I already know I'm gonna cry so yeah, um, this appointment is over six hours long. They said usually it's about eight hours, but they took, I guess ever since like COVID happened, um, they took out a portion of what this day consists of, which is like the psych evaluation. This is just according to the email I got, so I don't know once I get there if it's gonna be different. But they took off the psych evaluation part, which I know takes a long time because usually you have to answer like hundreds of questions and then talk to a psychologist. So they took that part out and instead of doing it there and then on that day, they're gonna schedule you through telehealth um, and get it done on a different day. So I wish it was today. I wish everything that was supposed to be completed today would be completed today. That's mainly just like my, anxiety and my obsession with things need to be like done how they're supposed to be but I understand why it's not being done like that because things change so I mean their program isn't Amberlynn Reed program it's their program so they could do it how they want but um I think it's just because I'm like so anxious to like just really get the ball rolling with this whole thing I'm so tired you guys I actually have melatonin just like running through me right now be real I had the hardest time falling asleep last night it was it was bad and I ended up only getting about four hours of sleep and it wasn't even the greatest sleep um ugh. I ended up falling asleep after 2 a.m and waking up a little after like 6 a.m so meh four hours better than zero so I am happy about that but I'm gonna complete my makeup and um yeah i just wanted to let you guys know it's like a little to be continued moment and just let you know that that's what i am doing today is that appointment and i'm shocked that i was able to get an appointment so soon because i don't know if you guys remember but during vlogmas i said how like i hope that I can at least get an appointment in january and i did so so far i feel like Things are really going the way that I envisioned them a little bit. So I'm holding on to like high, high hopes, you know. And I'm going to bring my little headphone for when I'm in the waiting room. I can do a little editing. I literally just edit on my phone. I just noticed that editing on iMovie on my laptop takes so much longer. Like just like the editing process of it all, um, the uploading to youtube after i'm done editing it's just it takes so much longer on my laptop and i have a macbook so it's not like i have you know a cheapo laptop or anything like that it's just i noticed that the internet or wi-fi or whatever it may be um it's just so much quicker through my phone like the uploading speed is crazy quicker and just like the act of editing is also a lot quicker on my phone i think it's just because i've done it for so long for so many years um there was a phase of time where i did edit on my macbook i want to say out of my 10 years on youtube it was just like a year um it was about five years ago but it's just that process um uploading took about four hours while uploading now takes a little less than that so thankfully it's like cut in half so love that now i'm just rambling i think it's because i'm nervous so i will actually see you guys um in my next video i will talk more about the appointment and how it went i am very nervous but very excited to just get this over with so i can have more answers because right now like my questions are what do i need to do <laughs> tell me and i'll do it <laughs> that's how i feel right now Anyways, I'm gonna go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's like totes boring. 
we like to talk around here.